Hello and welcome. So this is Carl Lynch and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video we are going to cover all the inbuilt function which Python list have. Uh, basically there are multiple functions like uh, uh, append, clear, copy, count, and index, insert, etc. So yeah, we are going to we're going to write every function and see what will affect on a list. Yeah. So before starting with that. A, a small introduction about the Python list. So Python list is a mutable data type in Python. So mutable means uh, the value inside it, basically the elements inside the list can be changed. We can replace any elements inside the list on uh, which is available on any index or we can uh, extend the list we can we can we can remove the elements from the list we can change the value inside list so that's that is list in a python a uh, list uh, is like a container in a python uh, you can you can understand like uh, in a list uh, is just like an array in any other language like a c c plus plus or java so as array is a collection of similar similar data type but uh, this is not in a in python case in a python list we can store any value we want like uh, it can be a string, it can be integer, it can be float, or it can be a list as well. So yeah, without wasting any time, just get just started. So, so I'm just writing a simple list denoted by L and uh, suppose first we have a string, next we have a number, two number, three number, okay. Okay, so this is a simple list. And if I open my terminal, Okay, so basically, if I print this out, so you can see the Python, Python list. Okay, click what the fuck? Python list, I guess. Yeah, Python 3 I'm using. Okay, so you can see the output is like a list. Okay, so uh, uh, first we will see the append function in a list so append is basically used to add a new element inside your list or suppose we have a, a data type or we can say we have a variable as a name and the name is like uh, Alexa and we want to append this Alexa inside the above list L okay so for the append function is basically add this element into the list so just write like this append and will pass me and if I print list again so now it will have five total elements that means it is also have Alexa yeah so you can see Alexa is there so the append function is basically used to add and okay so I'm just commenting out add element inside list okay we can also append using for loop like suppose we have another list like a list list two list two and the value for this list like uh, 23 2 3 4 5 6 and so on and we want to add all element inside the above list like a list one so we have one method extend which is basically work has a concatenation between the list like if I write this my list extend list 2 okay and print L I hope it will give me the concatenation of above 2 yeah as you can see uh, till Alexa this is the L1 and uh, two three four five six are coming from this function and if you don't want to use the extend function so let me comment out like uh, okay so extend it's just like concat concatenation and list okay and this, I'm just commenting on this and if we if we don't want to use extend functions how and how can we how can we add 
the element of second list into the first list okay so for that we can use for loop like for an i in plus two i you can see an element like e l e and we are iterating over the list two and we are appending everything inside the list one okay so once the loop will execute it we are printing list one yeah okay so you can see the same output Oh, we are iterating through the list two and fetching all the values like the first time. If you want to see what is coming inside the ELE that is nothing but the element, so you can print ELE and you will see the output like, okay, let me remove this print statement. Okay. Let me comment out this thing. So okay okay so now it will you can see uh, every values inside a list like this or yeah, and the first time the loop will execute on a list 2 the, the value of ELE will be 2 uh, rather than it will be 3 4 and 6 and so on you can see the output is like uh, first is 2 second is 3 4 5 6 and we are appending everything so the total output is like uh, concatenation of the both list yeah so this is all about the extend and append function in a in a python list so and another function we have in a list like a clear so okay so clear removes all elements from the list like uh, if i apply like uh, l dot clear okay so it's that case So okay, so you can so we can see like print l just commenting out this okay okay so as you can see I'm clearing the list so hope it will don't have it will don't have any value okay so you can see I will get I got an empty list so uh, clear is basically clear is remove. remove all elements from the list yeah so this is the third function okay so till now just comment out everything and we can, we have seen like a first function we seen like a pen a second function we see extend and the third we see like a clear function okay so we have seen these three functions. Append is basically add a, a single value inside your list. Now extend is basically the thing, but the, if you want to extend another list to a previous list, or we want to extend, we want to add to this basically a concatenation. So in that in that case, you can use extend, and clear is basically remove all elements from the list. Okay. And the next function we have the copy function inside the list. Suppose we have a list, list one. L1 okay so having value like 1 2 3 34 and and we want to copy the list basically so copy function is basically create a copy of your another list like L, I'm going to create a new list L2 which is which 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 is which will have the same element that the list one have okay so copy L hope it will not pop any error or maybe I'm just uh, writing the wrong syntax. Okay. Okay. I hope it will work. Okay. No, like not like this. I hope it will work like this. L1. Yeah. Okay. So if I print L2, we will get the same value. Okay, built in let's copy the list of the object okay we are not calling function 
now it will work yeah you can see we are printing l2 and getting the value as l1 has okay so copy statement is basically so copy will create a copy of a list yeah and copy function has been done and the next function we have is a count suppose we have just comment out everything okay not comment out just yeah, comment out everything okay okay so next we have a count function in a list so count function basically basically return the total count of an element inside the list suppose we have a list list and suppose we have a list of fruits like uh, apple banana again apple mango okay so we have a list of apples and we want to fetch the total number of apple inside the list so for that we can use count method so like a list so for this uh, we can simply write list or you can directly print like a list dot count count and inside inside it you can provide the name of the element you want so if i run this hopefully i will get to okay yeah you can see so we have two as an output so it has two apples like a one and two if i replace apple from banana or mango suppose i'm just replacing it with mango and in that case i will get one yeah and suppose i am just uh, replacing like uh, any random string like uh, x y z we don't have any x y z inside this list so the output will be zero i guess and let me try okay yeah you can see the output is zero because x y z is not present inside the above list yeah so count function basically written the count of an element inside the list we can see index count clear it's done and the next function we we are going to use is an index so we can fetch value from the list as index suppose like uh, i want to fetch the second value inside the list so for that i can simply print less and basically provide two so indexing in a python starts from zero so it will like uh, zero for apple one for banana and two for apple so we'll, i will get the apple as an output let me check yeah you can see apple is an output and if you want to fetch the first value we can simply pass zero here and you can see apple again if you want to fetch the second value we can pass one in here like and we will get the value as a banana so indexing is also there if if you want to fetch the value like uh, banana and apple from like this and this so for that we have to apply end slicing so it is nothing but we can uh, we can give the initial index we want and and the last index suppose you want to first and second so we can try like this from first to three so it will return i guess yeah so syntax for this is like a first index and the last index last index you want minus one okay so plus one not minus one yeah so if i pass one ratio three so basically it will fetch the value one on one index second index but it will exclude the three okay if you want to also want to exclude the this one as well so we can simply pass four or maybe it will get some error no not any error basically this is not present but yeah it's working yeah so as i as i type here one ratio four so it basically return the first element first indexing start from zero so this will be zero this is first this is second and this is third okay so this is the output this is all about the index and the function we have in a list like a insert 
uh, insert insert is just like uh, uh, append but the difference is that the I guess in insert uh, yeah append in the append function whenever we add any value it will go at the last of the list but in a insert function we can we can insert any value on any index like uh, suppose I want to index suppose I want to insert uh, suppose I want to insert like uh, in the place of first apple I want to insert okay so I'm going to insert in the place of first apple XYZ okay so for that I can I can simply type like a list like an insert uh, it will take two parameters first is the what you want to insert like uh, XYZ and and second in the index number so on which place you want to insert suppose I want to insert on a first place first index so basically the index is 0 okay so if I print list again typer okay no worries type, what was the type of this index a string cannot be interpreted as an teaser okay okay so first will be the index number and second will be the value that we want to insert xyz yeah now it will work yeah as you can see we have we have placed xyz on a zeroth index and without removing any value so now the index for the first apple is one but previously it 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 was zero yeah so that's how we can insert value inside a list insert is just like uh, extend but in a case of extend we can insert value at the end of the string but in the case of insert we can insert value on any index we want okay so index extend is done and uh, we have we know the next method we have is a short a shorting inside a list or uh, shorting inside a list uh, work fine when we have integers or any numerical data inside the list but it is also work on when we have uh, string type data types like apple banana so maybe in that case it will short the list in a ascending order of al alphabets so it the output of this if i apply list sort here So output will be like this apple apple banana and mango yeah xyz what what is wrong with that okay i'm just inserting this just remove this okay you can see apple apple banana and mango so uh, shorting is basically when we have a string types in a inside a, inside a list so shorting is uh, done as, as per the alpha alphabet order like a b c and so on and when we have integers in float or any numerical data so in that case the by default it is like uh, in a ascending order and if we want to descending order so we can also do that too yeah so suppose we have list two and it has values like uh, 3 oh, not a string 3 1 5 67 23 100 0 okay so if i apply short method on it so basically it will short the above list in a ascending order still don't short Yeah, you can see this is this is ascending order and this is unordered yeah so we also have sort method in the list and uh, we also have methods like a reverse so reverse method is basically reverse the element of the list so if i apply the reverse here reverse so it will reverse the element you can see 0 123 as an output and we also have the remove 
remove I remove so we want to remove insert and remove is just like a same so insert is basically we want to insert something on a on a specific index like a, I want to insert some value on a index one or insert index two and remove is just like a, if you want suppose we want to remove the value which is on index one so for that we have remove function and the last function we have is like is uh, pop so pop is one of the pop you can understand pop is the I, I, I hope you are familiar with this stack so in a stack we have push and pop so pop is nothing but a removing the topmost element so in a python pop if we apply pop on a list so it will remove the last indexed value from the list like I'm um, applying the pop on this list okay so this two dot pop okay so if I print this two again so I will not have zero in this case you can see the zero has been removed from the list and if you want to remove all elements we have clear function if you want if you want to pop element one by one last element so basically you can use for loop for that like a for for i in list two and don't use any i yeah you can directly use pop Yeah, probably even the size will also decrease okay five times yeah so you can use this for i in range five let me try let me give a try on it okay I'm just giving a try hope it will work or oh, maybe we have to change the size again yeah this one can only run in teaser length of so the length of six it will run six times yeah you can see so we are just iterating over the list length of a list so it totally it has seven values so so this loop will run on a sev sev seven time and first time we are removing the so just remove this pop because it is removing the hundred okay now run this again yeah so you can see you know on a first uh, output we are printing here zero is removed on the second one hundred and the third one is twenty three is removed after then 66 5 1 3 and we are removing everything from this list using for function for for loop and at the last we have empty list so yeah clear is basically remove everything at once and clear is basically just like uh, extend and uh, remove is just like uh, no, sorry not remove pop is just like a open removing one in one value from the last yeah so there you are. okay so that's all about the inbuilt function which python list have so if you if you like this video the thumbs up and i will see you in the next video thanks if you have any doubt you can write in a comment section